I'm CBS 4's George Estevez, and guess where we are? We are in Haiti with South Florida superstar 11-year-old. Why is she a superstar? Because we're in... Yeah. Rachel's Village. Find out why this week's Good For You goes to this special girl. Look at this. This week's Good For You goes to an 11 year old girl who literally got carried away after changing people's lives. Her name is Rachel Wheeler. You may have heard about her. She is the one who made headlines this week for building a village in Haiti at age 11. CBS 4's George Estevez has been following her journey for two years and is the only local reporter who was invited to be there in Haiti with her as she saw her dream come true. Here now is this week's Good For You. Poverty in Haiti is worse than you think. So many have nothing, not even a safe place to live. And that is what has attracted the attention of a little girl. I want to see my village really bad. This girl is minutes from the moment she's been waiting for. I just can't believe that an 11-year-old girl could build a village. Bonsoir. Believe it, because she did, and dozens are grateful. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel Wheeler dreamed what so many here couldn't even imagine. Yeah. An eruption of joy given to their lifesaver. When kids her age think of themselves, she thought of others, especially the children who deserve a fighting chance. Yeah. Yeah. Rachel had 27 concrete homes built in a fishing community, each with two rooms, an area for beds, and a living space. You built this house. Mm. What do you think of it? It fits nice. More than nice for the Wilkins family, who couldn't wait to show off their home. Now I'm really happy that Rachel and his mom, I mean her mom, make this happen to me because that's a great improvement in my life. And their gratitude was everywhere. From a dance to original paintings to serenades of appreciation, adoration for a girl with a simple mission she shared with me two years ago. That's a lot of work. I know. To raise all that money. Yeah. You think you can do it? Uh -huh. We bless. Since then, Rachel has raised $175,000 and partnered with South Florida's Food for the Poor. Amen. Yeah. An organization that combats poverty one family at a time. Little children will lead us and teach us how to do things. And it's amazing. She's a tremendous girl. A girl who at 11 has done more for complete strangers than anyone could have imagined. You said that to me, that every kid deserves a place to live. And now they have it because of you. How do you feel? I feel happy, really happy. I feel like I made a difference in somebody's life. She sure has by transforming lives of children who now have a chance. And I like helping other people. It makes me feel happy. And Rachel Wheeler's work is not done. Sure, she wants to build more villages, but she also wants to build a school, you're telling me? Yes, sir. Is it ever going to end with you? No. That's right. Great attitude. Right now, we are in Rachel's village in Kaipati. George Estevez, CBS 4 News. Yay, and we join in in the applause. How wonderful Rachel has been able to raise that $175,000 George was talking about because she just got a lot of people to donate, a lot of money, people like you. So thank you very much if you were able to contribute. If you want to continue to help her, you hear what she's going to do next, build a school, just go to cbsmiami.com and we will link you to her donation page. So she wow. did this at age 11. I just can't wait to see what she well, does she down do the road. She's a little older, right? It oh shows gosh. we can all make a difference, right? Absolutely. Especially she's so, so modest about it, too.